Welcome back. Today we're going to be going over the screen theme and layout settings on the brand new 2025 GV80. Let's take a look. So to get to your screen theme and layout settings, you're going to press on setup. You're going to scroll over to screen theme slash layout. And then you can adjust how your background will look. Um, if you want it to be a black background or a white background, personally, my favorite is the black background, or a lot of people do like the automatic setting where it automatically adjusts it depending on what time of day uh, it is. Uh, it'll automatically adjust the background for you. And then you have your vehicle exterior colors. So this is where you can actually choose uh, what exterior color is showing once you pull up the parking camera. Um, so if you have a black car, burgundy, uh, blue, red, uh, you can adjust that color from there. Um, and then this is where you adjust your font size. So if you like the font size to be a little bit bigger, it makes it a little bit easier to read. Uh, you can adjust it all from there. Uh, and then you have your cluster theme selection. So this will uh, show you how your cluster will look depending on what drive mode you're in, if you have it set link to drive mode, or you can have it adjusted to any of your cluster themes that you really like. So um, personally, some, some of my favorite are like the sport settings. Um, they'll show like the red needle, which is very nice. And then you have your screen, screen saver right here. So this will show once the vehicle or the power is off uh, on your, your infotainment, they'll, they'll have a little screen saver for you uh, to show you like the clock. If you want an analog clock or a digital clock, you can adjust it from there. And then you have your cluster widgets. So this is gonna be in your cluster. So you can actually adjust what widgets are showing uh, once you're scrolling through your cluster settings, uh, which is very nice. So if you want to show drive power distribution, your tire pressure, or your like compass, you can show that all in the cluster, which is really cool. And then uh, you have your gauges, so you can switch how your gauges look. Um, so if you want a digital, which a lot of people do like, so it shows you your digital miles per hour. Or if you're more traditional and you want the analog style, uh, you can have that as well. And then you have your cluster mode. So this is how the cluster will look depending on what mode you're in. Um, and you can change that all from the steering wheel controls as well. Uh, so you have your normal mode, uh, your ADS mode, and then map mode, and then wide map mode. So. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and tell us what you want to see next.